Okay, team, let's rewind. Here's what's been happening on Ghostwriter. The facts. First, a computer hacker has invaded the Hurston School's computers. Now, a hacker is someone who tries to sneak into someone else's computer system. The hacker, known as Max Mouse, has been pulling pranks, like sending scary messages through school computers and changing kids' grades, including Lenny's and Jamal's. The team wants to know who Max Mouse is and stop all these pranks. But they can't see Max Mouse, only the words it writes. So Ghostwriter is looking for Max Mouse inside the computer. The team knows that Max Mouse goes to Hurston, knows a lot about computers, and chews gum. And the team find out that Max Mouse uses a modem to get into computers. A modem is like, it's like a telephone for computers. Computers with modems can talk to each other. The team has two suspects. Erica Dansby, editor of the school newspaper, who knows a lot about computers and hackers, and Janice Hall, whose computer quiz was in the trash with the computer passwords, and she chews gum. Then, the team asks Ghostwriter to track down the phone number Max Mouse uses for her modem. If this number matches Erica or Janice's, that could prove who Max Mouse is. Max Mouse challenges the team, known as LJ Bad on the bulletin board, to a computer game. The team picks a long game that will hopefully give Ghostwriter enough time to catch Max Mouse. And now Lenny and Jamal's phone numbers showed up on the list of numbers that called the Hurston computer. They can prove that either one of you is Max Mouse. You'll be in trouble with the police. What will happen to Lenny and Jamal? Will the team figure out who the hacker is? And can Ghostwriter catch Max Mouse? Get a pencil in your casebook out and start piecing the puzzle because the Ghostwriter team is on the case. Are you Max Mouse? Are you Max Mouse? <laughs> That's so funny. There's no way those two stiffs could be the great Max Mouse. Erica, wait in the hallway until we're done, please. But I have a lot of work to do on my art. Erica, go! You've got it all Mrs. Wrong. Johnson, You're my brain changed change to, to a D. I mean, I would those never change my grade. Look, Mr. I... Johnston. The time bomb is now set. Hurston is history? Maximus rules? Time bomb? Let's get out of here. It's not what you think. A time bomb is a computer program that's been set to go off later. You know, like when you set the timer on a VCR you to tape a show? You better not take any chances. Grab your stuff and let's head for the door. Now. Man, some hackers sure do cause trouble. Tell me about it. Mr. Johnson thinks Jamal and I are Max Mouse. Not only that, but if Max Mouse figured out that Calvin was Red Parrots, then I'll bet he knows where LJ bad, which means he could really do something bad to you. Just like he did to Calvin when he lost the game. She. Both of our suspects are girls. Now that Calvin's not a suspect anymore. Yeah, but which girl? Erica or Janice? We have to track down Max Mouse's phone number so we know who she is. Ghost Jutter's our only hope. Couldn't we just give our suspects phone numbers to the computer security people? They can see if they're on a list that called Harston. But Max Mouse's number won't be on that list. How do you know? Ghost Rider found out that Max Mouse is connected to a lot of different telephone lines. All over the world, maybe. Why? She probably does it to make sure that no one could track down her phone number. That's why Ghost Rider couldn't catch her in one minute. Because he had to follow so many connections. I bet even the police can't trace a call when it's connected like that. Ghost Rider is the only one who could track down Max Mouse's phone number and save Hurston from this time bomb. Yeah, but he can't catch Max Mouse unless we keep him on the line as long as we can playing that game. It's up to us, Dean. We'd better practice. If we don't get this ghost game down cold by noon tomorrow, Max Mouse could do something to embarrass us in front of the whole school. Or worse, tomorrow and I could be in trouble with the police. Who is it? I'll get it. So, how's the police situation? Okay, so far. Here's our game plan. The first player who makes a word loses. And what we have to do is make the game last as long as we can. So, think long words. Man, I'm a short person. I can't spell long words. <laughs> Just make sure that while you're thinking of making a longer word, you don't make a shorter word by a mistake. Check every letter in your head. Huh? Just watch, Hector. We'll play a test round for you. 
Whoever goes first writes one letter. Let's say S. Then the other player adds one. I'll be the other player. How about T? I put no. Your turn. R. Uh oh. If I put a Y, I'm sunk. Oh, story. But I'm great at this, so I put a nine instead, and I don't make a word. S T O R I. Oh, I thought you were gonna put an E and spell store. But store's another word, Alex. I know. I thought I was making it around the game. And I'd lose, so I'm spelling S T O R I. I think I've got you. E. Oh, sure, you did get me. S. I have to spell stories. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that was great, guys. Seven letters for your first word. That's long. Let's figure out what happened. When Gabby wrote O, Alex thought of store. So I wrote R, thinking Gabby was going to put an E and end the game. But then I realized I could make a longer word. Stories. So I put an I. But Gabby, the trouble with your plan is that story still ended on you. No, Jamal. Story ended on S. <laughs> Come on, guys. We have to practice as much as we can before the game tomorrow. I'll try, but I have to rewrite my essay for the High School of Science. I almost finished it, but when I woke up this morning, it had disappeared from my computer. What happened? I don't know. Sometimes a plain old pencil is better. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Hector. I'll keep that in mind. You can come with me. Sure. Let's all meet back here at eleven, ready to go. And practice. George wasn't in the handball court today at all. That's good. No, it isn't. I felt better yesterday after we played handball. Now I'm scared again. That's why you have to keep going there. Every time you do, you show that you're not scared. You feel stronger. Me lo prometes? Te lo prometo. And if you think this guy's gonna hurt you for real, you come get me. Don't be ashamed to ask for help, okay? Okay. See you tomorrow. Do it! Hi, I'm Hector Carrero. Sure, I remember you. You got your card a couple of days ago. Uh huh. Is there something I can help you with? Yeah. Um, you could tell me if um, you have some books on a certain subject. Sure. What subject? Well, um, did ever anybody, um, you know, write a book about um, what to do if you have a bully beating you up? I've got just what you need. Wonder Kid meets the evil lunch snatcher. I was spelling musician, M-U-S-I-C-I-A-N. You should have said I. But music is a word. You spell the words so you lose. You're getting good at this, kiddo. It's a techno basic idea. <laughs> and now you've got to finish with a Y? That makes me very happy. That might be true if I hadn't been practicing all afternoon. I put an I. Are you making this so easy on purpose? And now you've got to finish with an R. Happier. Are you sure about that? S. What's that? Gear it up, turn it loose, because baby, I just cooked Jogos. Oh, the only one I can finish it with is a T. <laughs> Which makes me the happiest. <laughs> I beat you so bad. <laughs> Come on. Yes! Vegetarian!
Chariot finally beat you. for my lucky basketball socks. We need all the help we can get playing Ghost with Max Mouse tomorrow. Oh, gross. Jamal and I can each wear one. Man, I wish I had three feet. Why? So I can give Hector a lucky sock, too. Oh, well. <laughs> Thanks. Ew. I'm ready for her. <laughs> Me, too. Boys. I feel my word nest with words that'll make Ghost sort of feel good. Like strong, tough, forceful, powerful, stout. I thought stout means fat. It does, but it also means brave and strong. I found my thesaurus. Hey, did you bring your thesaurus? Yep. And my dictionary. And my scrabble dictionary. And my rhyming dictionary. And my dictionary of slang. Great. Um what time is it? Eleven forty-five. Just remember, don't rush. I think Jamal should sit at the keyboard. He's good at keeping cool when the pressure's on. Yeah. Sit down, cool breeze. Okay. But we've all got to do this together. Yeah. Ghost Rider's ready to trap that rat, too. Okay, guys, here we go. Techno mangled? Gross. Right? I wouldn't be too sure about that, girlfriend. Yeah, that'll really freak her out. Today, Lenny. <laughs> uh oh, time to start. Let's keep her talking so Ghost Rider's time to catch her. <laughs> Rules of Ghosts Number one, each player adds one letter per turn. Number two, the first player to make a word loses. Press enter to continue. Hey! Look! Jamal, I took your application to the high school of science. When you lose, I will send it in loaded with spelling mistakes and bad language. She stole my work. I didn't erase it by mistake. She can't do that. Oh, yes, she can. If she knows my name, then she knows my phone number so she can invade my computer. Aw, oh, man. Wait, there's more. Lenny, when you lose, I'll make sure you're the one arrested and charged with setting the false alarms. I hope you're ready to face your punishment. That's not possible. 
Yes, it is. She got Jasmine in trouble with the police, remember? Come on, you guys. Don't let her psych you out. We have to stay strong. We can win this thing. Yeah. Think of all the trouble she's caused at Hurston. We've got to stop her. Hey, that's what we get if we win. Let's get her to confess. Yeah, but how? I have an idea. Tell us how you did the false alarms. Smart move, Jamal. Explaining that could take a long, long time. And Ghost Rider needs that time to find out her phone number. <laughs> game of Ghost, we play just one word. Sudden death. Oh. I guess Max Mouse has a game plan, too. What if we refuse? But that's not fair. Don't sweat it, Gab. Ghost Rider's already been in there three minutes. I've got an idea that'll get us more time. Okay, but we get 20 seconds for each letter. And the word must be more than four letters. seconds at least five letters great idea jamal now we can wait for the last second to add our letters and get more time for ghost rider come on ghost rider <laughs> You. No, wait! B E A U makes a word, Bo, like boyfriend. It's safe, only four letters. Phew. That was close. Sorry. It's okay. You might have been right. Just don't pull my hands off the keys. I might hit the wrong one by mistake. Okay. Max Mouse wrote a T. Hey, isn't that a word? Butte, like that car is a butte? It's in the slang dictionary. It's a challenge, that'll take time. No slang or the game is over. What a bad sport. What do we expect? Quick, it's our turn. We cannot why that'll make beauty. Come on, go sort of catch her! some way to make it longer? We can make it longer. Uh, but we have to make beautification or beautified. But those words will end on us. Where's Ghost Rider? We can lose if we keep trying to make the word longer. 
longer. You're right. We've got to play the you. Got you now, Max Mouse. Oh, Shredder still needs more time. But if we win, she still has to explain how she set the alarms. And that means more time. Big and strong, so you can stand up to him. Think you're not scared of him? Probably leave you alone. George, what? Please take your hands off my clothes. Printing that out. It's practically a confession. But it won't help if we still don't know who she is. Computer. Let's tell her we know. Yeah, yeah. got her now. <laughs> Get attention. Never realized she felt that way. Tell him I got the number. Tell him he solved the case. Ooh, let me. Go call a Jam McQuaid. <laughs> he'll never believe this one. <laughs> yeah, he'll probably say, I don't know how you kids do it. <laughs> Who is it? Hector. Hi, Hector. So, did George show up? Yeah. And? He threw my ball away. Man, I knew I should have been there. Are you kidding? When he walked away, I was still standing strong. Then? I went and got my ball back. All right. Did you catch Max Mouse? Yeah. Jamal's talking to Lieutenant McQuaid right now. Right. And her name is Janice Hall, 
and her number is 555-7241. Right. Yes, you're welcome, Lieutenant McQuaid. What's that? <laughs> no, I don't know how we do it either. <laughs> Brought to you in part by Nike. Additional bucks that keep our team supreme come from public television viewers like you and me. The Corporation for Public Broadcasting. The John Dean Catherine T. McCarthy Foundation. The Pew Charitable Trust. And the U.S. Department of Education. But you can't say all on breath. I bet you can. Ghost Rider was originally produced for the Public Broadcasting Service. Read more about Ghost Rider and the Ghost Rider team in these Bantam books. To purchase Bantam books, video cassettes, or a teacher's guide for programs in this series, contact GPN, P.O. Box 80669, Lincoln, Nebraska, 68501, or call one 800 228 4630.